Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another edition of a quick technical analysis tutorial. Uh, today, just a brief uh, talk about average true range, which is a way of really, uh, one, uh, using a system where you can actually set a volatility-based stop, and two, to try and understand what is the true range or what is the average movement of a, a stock, an ETF, a commodity, a uh, forex pair, anything really that you can chart, you can use this. So. Average true range, what we're looking at here is up top is a daily price chart. Happens to be an ETF that we're charting. And down below is the average true range, also referred to as ATR. Where you see the green arrows, uh, that actually signifies uh, one point in time. So for example, if uh, let's say if we look up top and we see that the price bars are where they are now, down below, you can see that currently uh, it looks like it's about 0.75. That blue line represents the average true range. And so the way that you can use this to actually play stops is this. Uh, now, by the way, first, ATR, it's an average true range. It's a non-directional indicator. Uh, true range, really, Wilder, who created this, uh, is using true range. And to use true range, you actually take the greater of the difference between either the current high and low, the current low and previous close, or the previous close and the current low. The greater of those becomes your true range. Now the ATR uh, study or the indicator, uh, the default is 14 periods. So you're using sort of an average or the last value is the average of the 14 periods. So what some traders do is they'll take and calculate an initial stop loss uh, by taking the ATR times a number. So for example, let's say an entry price on a position would be $20 and the ATR, let's say it's currently 1. I know on our uh, study before it was about 0.75, but let's just round up to 1. So a trader might say, well, if the ATR uh, is 1 and I want to take and put my stop about 2.5 times the ATR below the current price, I would take my stock price, uh, which is $20, minus 2.5 times my current ATR of 1, which happens to be 2.5, and that gets to 1750. And so a trader in this case buying a stock at 20 uh, would be getting out, let's say, if it was at 1750 or low. And that way they can actually look and understand what their trade risk per share is. In this case, it's 250 per share. So again, average true range is simply a way to measure the true range over uh, kind of a rolling number of periods. Here it's 14. Up above, you have the price bars. Down below, you've got that blue line which represents, represents the average true range. Uh, although it looks like this is actually uh, corresponding or matching up with the trend, it is not a trending indicator whatsoever. It just so happens there is more volatility, more greater ranges as this thing was coming down. And once things uh, started to, uh, to stabilize, uh, you saw that the moves were more compact. And that's why you see this is less. So average true range. Hope you enjoy that. Please like these videos, uh, subscribe, and uh, check out some of the other videos on there.